You're talking about a market melt up in the immediate future. Make your case. I think we're already there, Stuart. I mean, if you look at it right now, I mean, markets have been going up almost every day. Even yesterday, even though the Nasdaq and the S&P were down, every other sector that's interest rate sensitive was up huge. Real estate stocks were up over 3%. Yeah. Small caps were up 3%. And that's the other thing you want to think about here is this rally is starting to broaden out. It's starting to go into some other sectors and some other asset classes. It's not just the you know, mega cap seven uh, where all the money is being funneled into, which you've seen now for most of the year. Is that a tech bubble? I, I think it is. And here's what I think is going to happen. I think the Fed inadvertently is going to actually make this bubble go you know, even larger. Uh, you know, we, we, at this point, we're probably pretty sure the Fed's going to cut come September. Mm -hmm. You still have $6.14 trillion sitting in money market funds right now. And actually, this week, you saw $10 billion come out of those money market funds because your money market funds not going to be 5% anymore if the Fed cuts interest rates. And where's that money going to go? The, the stock market blows my mind. It's the only place when prices get more expensive, people just jump at it. Like, if you're going to buy a new car, Stuart, and the price went up 150%, would you be more likely to buy that car or less likely to buy that car? Less likely, obviously. Okay. But. Well, well NVIDIA is up 160%, and people want to buy more of it uh, at these high valuations. So I think the way to protect yourself right now is markets are probably going to go higher. Um, I think the Fed's probably going to cut in September, but diversify your exposure. We saw a preview yesterday. There's a real rotation going on into oh, yeah. other places. Don't just funnel it all into this big, you know, massive bubble because what happens after that bubble goes up, it goes down. But the, big tech is so attractive because that's where the money is. That's where the profits are. Uh, that's where AI is. Uh, you say it's a bubble, but the bubble isn't burst yet. It's going to go higher. Yeah. Well, the problem is, I don't know the magic that the bubble's going to burst, but when you're trading at like 50 times forward earnings on NVIDIA, that's not cheap. And markets tend to punish you long term when you buy at those high valuations. Meanwhile, the rest of the market, like we're talking about real estate, you're getting way lower valuations, getting lots of cash flow. I've got a lot of clients that are baby boomers. They need cash flow. So literally everything else is not tech right now. I'm, you know, not to be provocative, but it's probably one of the best buying opportunities I've seen in my lifetime. In what? In literally every other asset class that's not tech right now. Right.